Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Star Wars figure review. And uh, yeah, behind me is looking a little bit bare. Um, I'm currently in the process of packing it all away. I just filled up four 60 litre tubs with three and three quarter inch action figures and I'm not done yet. So I've got a big job in here uh, to pack up and you know get everything out of this room. But um, still got stuff coming in, so <laughs> let's do it. I'm, I'm really excited about this one. This one came in today, I uh, got him in at work. Um, so I'm really, really excited. Uh, I think we might have a couple left. Um, if you're interested, check them out. Should be up on kesselrunhair.com tomorrow. So go and check that out. Hopefully, hopefully someone comes and picks them up because there's some cool stuff coming in um, and we're really excited about getting these figures in. Um, and this is a pack that's, uh, you know, really, really cool. It's VC211, really great figure. I have done all those figures on the back. So yeah, this is, this one, it feels like it wasn't that long ago, this one was actually revealed. So I'm really, really excited to open this one up. Um, there's something about the Vintage Collection Mandalorian that is just so good. I love the, the three and three quarter inch scale Mando. Um, it's such a better mold and sculpt than the the Black Series one, in my opinion. Um, and that's mainly because of the helmet. Um, so yeah, we should have another one in with the Razor Crest in the next couple of weeks. So I'm excited for that too. <laughs> really pumped up for actually. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get this one open and take a look at all the bits and pieces and spiders and Mando and Grogu. All right, here is everything in the pack. And this is awesome. I love this. Just got them on the little, uh, Lazy Susan Spinner for the moment, so we'll give a little bit of a look around. Um, yeah, I've had to just sort of change up because I've got just stuff everywhere in this room. Really need to do a little bit of a tidy up and get rid of some rubbish as well. But we're going to take a look at Mando first. He comes with his blaster pistol, no jetpack or pulse rifle this time. Uh, we're still on the crest. We do get the uh, updated armor piece on the leg, which he took from Q90, which is cool. Um, I'm not sure how much else is different. I do believe that the uh, the ankle rockers, uh, the ankle joints have been modified and retooled so that they're able to move on that rocker joint as opposed to, um, you know, just strictly straight up and down, which I believe they're a bit out of reach but um yeah otherwise he's sporting uh some snow weathering which is cool and uh funny thing funny story about that episode i had a really bad day at work that when that episode aired some 12 or so months ago yeah was not having a great day at all and uh my anxiety i, I do suffer from a bit of um anxiety um and yeah, that was playing up big time that day. And I was like, no, nah, Friday night, I'm just looking forward to getting home, watching Mandalorian, just zoning out into Star Wars world and just forgetting about the troubles of my day. And boy, did this even trigger it, <laughs> this episode. It was it was tense, the, the chasing of the spiders, everything about it was just an intense episode. And it really didn't do much to uh, calm me down. So I. I tend to just put that episode aside for a while. Um, yeah, I was when I did the after show for that. Um, yeah, I certainly wasn't a hundred percent, but um, yeah, this this figure has come out great. The paint on the shoulders, oh, the, the, the sort of chrome look, it's so good. Just don't know why they can't hit it like that with Black Series. So yeah, some nice weathering. And we've got Grogu. He's got a little bit of a a little bit of snow on him as well, as you can sort of see down below. Now, I was led to believe that each release of Grogu was going to be a slightly different head sculpt, but uh, I believe this one is the same. Um, he may have ears in a slightly different direction, but that's okay. That's cool. I like it a lot. Still blows me away that they're able to make this guy so small. 
little fellow, Krogu. So to go with Krogu, he has his little busted open egg here. You know, the one that he uh, punches a hole in and eats the spider inside. So it's nicely sculpted and nicely detailed. And the flaps sort of coming down the side there looks good. Yeah, nice flat bottom. So you can sit it, sit it aside and have him reaching into it like that. Um, we get a couple of posed mini mini Krickner spiders. I think these ones are the Krickners. I can't remember. Krickners are the ones from Rebels. I don't think these are Krickners. So I... I can't remember. So yeah, we've got these two little little dudes. Slightly different sculpts, I think. Ever so slightly, but they're cool. And then we have this bigger one, which I believe is going to be the same one that comes with the Black Series Mando. So if that's the case, that's kind of cool. Uh, some more paint apps on the eyes would have been cool. You know, paint those black eyes in. That would have been just add a little bit more. But otherwise, the sort of shading and colouring of this thing is quite cool. Uh, it has four sort of standard legs, part of the mould there. And then two, two moving mandibles on the front so you can get those pincers sort of up and then adjustable legs on the back as well so you can um yeah pose this one up a little bit so that's cool <laughs> i was gonna try and pose him up with the spider but not gonna happen but yeah loving it really really digging this figure i think it looks great zoom up to get a bit of a look at the uh sort of white weathering sort of over the helmet back of the cape there sort of falling down as you can see that's the uh, hole for the jetpack there and the hole for the rifle but yeah overall just a just a really nice figure should have brought the other ones down do a bit of a comparison but yeah we're here to talk about this one not not the old ones so there we have it. Din Djarin, Grogu, some spiders, and an egg. And that is why a vintage collection is uh, the ideal world building scale. Fantastic stuff. You can do lots of little, little things like this. Perfect. Check it out. How good is it? It's so good. I love, I love this set. Really nicely done. If we can get some cases for carded shape I may get another one to keep in the box but we'll see I'm pretty happy with how this one turned out so yeah please drop a comment down below let me know what you think um, love to hear from you come join me tomorrow night for book of Boba Fett I'm excited about that one I should probably put up a post um, for the um, Boba Fett book report I'm looking forward to, to chatting with people about tomorrow night's episode after last week's banger featuring this man right here, Din Jaren. So uh, yeah, if you're not subscribed, please do. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next video. Until then, may the force be with you. And this is the way.